to a very beautiful woman with a very cold heart. Excuse me? What well, you just tossed a wheelchair-bound cripple out of a house she's lived in for over 20 years without batting even one of those amazingly long eyelashes of yours. So what if I did? Your mother has had more than her share of time being mistress of the Crane Empire, and now it's my turn. I gotta tell you, Teresa, until tonight I never met anyone quite as ruthless as my mother. Will you win that contest hands down? <laughs> how dare you judge me? And if anyone understands how much your mother deserves her comeuppance, it's you. That's true. And she never really was very maternal towards me. I was always an afterthought, an irritating but necessary second son. In fact, I bet if it were up to her, she probably never would have even had me. But Julian must have prevailed. You know, the whole safety net of the air and the spare. Yeah, but it, it turns out that Ethan wasn't a real crane. And since he's not Julian's son, you're really the firstborn male heir after all. Tell that to Mumsy, okay? For, for reasons we don't need to get into right now, she still loves her number one much more than me. Still, the Barracuda is in a wheelchair, and there is a bloody nasty storm raging outside. I mean, even my amoral father and his tardy little mistress were shocked when you showed her the door tonight. Well, I don't give a damn what Julian and Rebecca think of me. Perhaps. But I was under the impression that you did give a damn what Ethan thought of you. If Julian and Rebecca think you went too far tonight, how do you think Ethan feels about you at the present moment? <laughs>